Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, one of my favorite brands of all time, Yamaha FX97 or 97FX. We got ceramic though in the house with this green racket. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Mike A. Mike A is a member of my coffee club, therefore he hooks me up with one coffee a month. Thank you so much, Mike A. If you wanna buy me a coffee or join the coffee club, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you wanna just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way, link is below. Thank you so, so much. All right, nice dark roast, piping hot today. All right, so Yamaha FX97, ceramic. So interesting thing about this racket, whenever I see the word ceramic, I think of very, very flexible. I think of the racket is gonna give and give and give. <laughs> and then shoot out. So very, very flexible when I see that word. Um, this particular racket has these weighting things that you can either take off or put on or slide down or slide up um, on both sides. Yeah, this racket came from my buddy Pete Allen's collection. Um, this reminds me of hmm, a lot of familiar rackets from this time era in the 80s here. Um, there was a Wilson ceramic, which was white. There was like princes that were ceramic too. Um, kind of reminds me of a Prince Spectrum. Um, hmm, interesting. I mean, I've loved Yamahas, uh, pretty much all the Yamahas I've ever played with. Uh, hmm, I wonder how this one's gonna play. It looks interesting though, right? With the uh, rainbow strings that's been in here for 30 years. Um, racket's easily 30 years old. Uh, let's take it to the court, see what we think. All right, so we just got off the court. Yamaha Ceramic Series. Yeah, 97 FX. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of that, Coach? <laughs> um, yeah, so Harry has uh, kind of, you know, had me try out some Yamaha rackets in the past. Uh, for the most part, they have been pretty good. So going into this play test, I was having some high expectations for this frame. Um, the first thing that I did realize were these weird kind of, um, not really sure what these are. Harry told me these were weights, so I guess there's some sort of weights. Those are the first thing that I realized from this racket. So I was thinking they were trying to copy uh, Wilson's PWS weighting system to make the racket more stable. So um, unfortunately, it wasn't really helping <laughs> as much in a way. So this racket is super flexible. Um, that could also be pretty much, you know, given that the racket's also a flat beam frame. Um, but yeah, I just had a hard time dialing in most of the ground strokes. The forehand didn't feel too bad. Um, the backhand, Harry saw me dump the first four backhands into the net, which is a little bit rough. Um, but any flat shot that I hit wasn't too bad. Um, the racket offered a little bit more forgiveness when you're kind of, you know, keeping the tossing away from the ball. Um, slices were a little bit more favorable and pretty much anything that wasn't a modern swing stroke. Um, all in all, definitely an interesting play test. Wouldn't say I was a big fan of this one, but uh, if you guys are ever in the market or want to try out any old school frames, uh, definitely give out this you know neon green one a chance. So, so the word ceramic, 
um, usually tells me that it's a flexible racket. Mm. Um, I was actually very surprised at how really flexible this really was. Very flexible. Um, <laughs> it brings back, I don't know if you're too young to remember a print spectrum. It's the white racket. I don't think it, I know that one. Yeah, it felt just like this. It's very, very flexible. When it when the ball hits, you feel it. <laughs> and then, you know, so it absorbed the ball a lot before it shot it out of there, mm -hmm. which which is control. Um, but then there's not a lot of giddy up after that. You really have to swing. Um, yeah. And if you don't drive through it with, you know, like the perfect timing and through. I mean, you're you're used to your blade, so it's a, it's definitely stiffer than this. So mm -hmm. that timing thing, um, you're probably you, you turned up on it a little early for this frame. Therefore, yeah. your trajectory went straight down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely did. Yeah. Definitely did. But I felt the same thing, man. You have to you have the flat. You have I literally had to flatten out my shot to change the trajectory up this way. Mm -hmm. Doing this will make the ball go this. Yeah. So, but, you know, I'm glad I took this out. This strip can actually be moved all the way around. And uh, you can add it to the top if you like. Or you could drop it, you know, closer to the bottom. Or you could just take it out. Nice. Uh, Instead of taking taking uh, new strips of lead tape, you just have this one thing that you can use every, every single time. Yep. I feel like companies have tried to do this in the past and mm. have not been very successful. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes the racket look kind of weird. That's, yeah. that's probably the only thing. It's probably an aesthetic standpoint. Yeah. yeah. So. But but yeah, no, super fun play test. I'm glad I got to try this. I, I just wasn't expecting it to be so flexible. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> you literally have to swing. Swing, swing, swing. Just go for it. Yeah. So. But the color's cool. Yeah, the neon green paint. With the rainbow strings. Not bad. Yeah. We Too bad Coach, uh, Coach Chris Redbeard's not here. <laughs> That's his favorite string pattern. There you go. I might leave it for you for him. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. He wants right. to give it a shot. All right, Coach Jared, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Mod Tennis. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. <laughs>